everybody, this is Praxis, and we're getting really close to being able to do an actual live test where uh, River and I and possibly Amber are going to stay overnight in this place to kind of get a sense of how well it works. The last thing that uh, I had to put in place for that to happen is the air vent. Uh, I just attached this to the wall right here. It's a small four inch uh, vent fan and it's made by Terra Bloom. I really like all the Terra Bloom uh, fans. They're used for like indoor growing, I think primarily of like pot and stuff like that. Um, I have the six inch one that I use for the whole house air circulation, grabbing the air from the top uh, and then throwing it down under the floor. That's been working for several years, uh, you know, seemingly without any kind of issue at all. I've used them for a couple other applications, and I like that they seem really, really reliable. They're quiet, and they don't use that much electricity. Those are all, those are the three things I look for if I'm looking for a fan. So I grabbed another one of those for, for here, uh, and um, it works. I just uh, got it plugged in right here. I'm going to dress this up, make it look a little bit nicer, but uh, just running it right now, here we go. That's the full power right there. Uh, see if I can visually show you guys uh, how much air is coming out of there. Use these little bag handles here. You see, there's a lot of uh, a lot of air coming out of there. So um, I don't think we're going to have any trouble getting enough air in here, unless the filters clog up upstairs. And that's something that's a little bit hard. Uh, by upstairs, I mean outside of that filter box. That's something that's a little bit hard for me to game out. Uh, I want to come up with some other ways that I can kind of pre-filter air before it gets into that filter box. Maybe make like a settling chamber or have a tent that you can quickly throw up around it that would help to uh, clean out the air a little bit before it gets to the filters. Uh, but in terms of volume of air, there's an enormous amount of volume coming through and I probably, I probably wouldn't be running it anywhere near, near that. I think I'd probably, probably have it somewhere Somewhere around here, that'd be about the volume of uh, noise that we'd be creating uh, as we uh, are in here. But again, we're going to do a test. I have a CO2 monitor, and we'll be able to see how much carbon dioxide is building up in here and make sure that we have safe air if we need to stay in here for a while. Uh, one other thing I want to show with, uh, show to you guys is uh, short length of hose. Wow, isn't that amazing? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, the purpose of this is, uh, well, all these guys behind me, uh, I think I mentioned in an earlier video, these are on our bunks right now and they are going to get moved over to be kind of uh, shielding in front of the door because you can stack them. I'm going to fill them up with water and to fill them up with water, they're not full of water now, I want to fill them up with water right before we uh, hop in because then it will also be drinkable water, is uh, I'm going to be hooking this hose up here. This is the, uh, the, the top part of the system, this is how I would kind of uh, uh, drain it out later, but I was thinking this would be a great connection point because I can take this, just sort of lightly screw it in here and can I get it easily there we go okay and uh, and that gives you this thing here now there's an on off there I'm gonna make another on off here and the procedure would be is you grab a, a bucket stick it in turn it on fill it up and uh, one of us maybe Amber if we needed to use this this would be part of her like to do like action list she'd bring her stuff in and then uh, start filling up buckets and kind of or filling up all these jugs and line them up along the wall there and uh, get them ready so that when we need to, we can uh, stack them up. Uh, but this is a great uh, connection point. I, reali uh, I realized uh, I don't know, a couple days ago that I finished all the plumbing, but I didn't have a dedicated thing for this. You know, it's not like we're going to put one of these underneath the sink over there. We really need to have a hose and to be able to get the full uh, uh, you know, pressure of the water going through. Which makes me wonder how long it actually takes to fill one of these up. That would probably be a good test. Yeah. That's part of the testing that we'll do. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.